Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. And like the sign says, it's time for tea. Mm-hmm. Well, time to wait for the tea to finish brewing before we take some sips on it. I'm just saying. Now, this is completely brought to you by me because I purchased my Sips by subscription. Uh, there it is, opened up, upside down. Look at the teas in there. Oh, it Sips by. Um, that is a monthly subscription where you tell it what your preferences are. They send you tea every month. It's a lot of fun and you get personalized recommendations according to what you like and stuff and what you choose on your things. And I pretty much tell them all the things, all the teas, give them all to me. So I get quite a variety. This is my March tea card. Look, it's made for a Deborah right there. And the tea that I'm trying out today is, well, it's dropped on the floor. Let me find the other packet of it in here because I don't feel like reaching down there and getting that one. I'm just saying, because that was the one that I opened. Let's try not to drop this one. It is Waikana. It is Amazon Cacao Guayusa. I have no idea if I'm saying that correctly. Not you. Yes, the, the listening devices in the house thought I was talking to them, trying to order something, but I'm really not. So you have to tell them because it went to doing, you know, the noise. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, and on the little card they give you, they give you the information about the tea. Here we go. This one is high caffeine. Uh-oh, the rest of the videos for the week are going to be high energy. Mm -hmm. You've been warned. Uh, <laughs> it says one bag per eight ounces of water. Now, mine is a little more than eight ounces. This is the cup I'm using today, part of a set that I bought at, oh gosh, I don't even remember the store. One of the discount stores where you walk around and you just kind of find stuff and it's really fun. Um, there's a stack of cups for, for these mugs in a little rack. There's the beat that tells me five minutes. However, it says seven minutes on it because I'm a doof. I didn't read that first, but that's okay. We're all good. Uh, 208 degrees. So just a little bit below boiling. It's 208 Fahrenheit. Okay. Uh, it says steep seven minutes, organic green guayusa and organic cacao. Yes. And I think it said some other things in here too. A little more defined here from the packet. Organic cacao shells, organic guayusa, and natural flavor. Interesting. This says brewing time five minutes. Yo, sips by. Y'all messed up. But that's okay. Five, six, seven. I'm going to let it go a little longer anyway because it's in a larger mug. It's going to be more than eight ounces because I don't own any of those teeny tiny cups. But let me read you what it says here. High caffeine. This special blend of green guayusa and raw cacao will lift you up from your feet so you can feel all the goodness of the Amazon rainforest in Ecuador. So apparently today we're going to Ecuador. Yay, I've actually always wanted to go to Ecuador. Um, it, it's a beautiful country with lovely people. Yeah, travel, one of those things I'd love to be able to do. Um, but. That's what it says. That's all it gives you on that. I have to tell you, when I opened the packet and gave it a sniff, I immediately smelled the cacao. Like, whoa, this is going to have some chocolate up in it, is what it smells like to me. It looks like it's not really dark as far as the tea goes. You can see that a little bit in there. It does smell like bitter cacao though, not sweetened. I do have a packet of sweetener here that I will add after I take a taste without it. And then, because almost everything takes, tastes better with creamer, I have my sugar-free French vanilla coffee mate creamer. Again, not sponsored. That is just what I happen to have, what I happen to purchase at the Walmart. All right, all right. Got my spoon. Oh, <laughs> almost dropped my clothespin. This was holding my uh, tea bag label to the side so that it didn't fall into the thing. That It just annoys me. So I decided to use a little paper clip for it. Paper clip. Derp. Clothespin. Hello. Of course you could use them for paper too, right? All right. Just giving it a little extra shaky shake. Let's drain this out a little bit. No real squeezing going on. And no, I'm not just setting it on the table. I do have a little plate there. Okay. Stirring it for no good reason because there's nothing else in it but tea. And it's probably too hot, will burn my face off, so just a little action. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know. I'm blowing on a spoonful of tea. Immediately, bitter chocolate. I mean, this tastes like chocolate that just has absolutely no sugar in it. That super bitter chocolate that you get. Yeah, I'm going to try another spoonful, though. Yeah, I'm not getting rainforest. Of course, I'm not sure what a rainforest is going to taste like, but I'm, that's not what I'm getting out of this. But, a little stevia, or generic stevia. It came from Aldi. Okay. All right. Give it a little stir up there. Oh, yeah, and when I saw these mugs at wherever we were that time, I just had to get them. It was like $10 for the four mug set, and it sits over there next to my little coffee pot, so always handy. Always got a mug right next to the coffee pot. Not to mention the dozens of mugs that I have in my cabinet over there. Yeah, I think I have a problem. Much better with the sweetener in it. It takes off some of that bitterness from that cacao, because... Mm. It does smell nice, though. When you smell that chocolate, that cacao, it really is nice. Uh, but sometimes it's just a little too bitter. Especially if you're drinking this first thing in the morning. You want anything that bitter? You're already facing a Monday morning. You don't want to face it with bitterness. Right? Right. All right. Now I'm going to taste it with some of my creamer in it. This is heavy. It's a big old thing of it. Of course, it's cheaper to buy it in the bigger containers at Walmart like this. Okay, this adds a little additional sweetness and it adds vanilla and cream flavor to it. So, see the clouds rise up in my tea. Yes, as almost always, <laughs> the vanilla creamer, the vanilla just brings out the flavors and everything. And it cools it off just enough that I can drink it without burning my face off totally. It's still a little warm though. Oh, now this I could have every morning. Um, it's not my, my go-to standard English breakfast tea, which is my go-to standard tea to have like a cup of tea anytime during the day. Sometimes and I work from home now, I'll holler to the hubby, honey, bring me some tea. And he knows. He comes in here and boils water in the kettle and fixes me a cup of English breakfast because that's my go-to. But this, this is nice. Mm. I'm not sure how to pronounce this properly though. Waikana? Waikana? I don't know. I don't know. And if it comes from Ecuador, um, Ecuador is mainly a Spanish-speaking country. However, there are some indigenous languages that are all around there um, because, you know, the land was populated by indigenous peoples before the Spanish came in and, you know, decided to colonialize everything. But, yeah, not sure about that. But Amazon Guayusa tea. Not you. I did it again. I did it again. I gotta stop cueing that stupid machine. It's bad enough. I finally got used to having the googs around. I don't say the word. You don't say the word hey and the word, you know, goog all together because every device in the house lights up and goes, gosh, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Now we've got another one. And not only that, yes, you heard that the word instead of, you know, Siri or not Siri, Alexa. That's what it is, Alexa. I don't even know. I'm not a big Amazon queen. But the hubby, he has three of the devices. One answers to Alexa. One answers to Amazon. And what? Not you. Jesus, it's listening. Sorry. I thought I heard my name. But you didn't. And one answers to computer. You know, you can't say anything in this house. We have to code things. It's like having to talk around small children when you start spelling things. Although I think these things would know if you were spelling it. <sighs> Sorry, and the caffeine hasn't even hit yet. <laughs> anyway, I hope you take some time for tea today. Enjoy. Try this out if you haven't gotten a chance to. If you like some chocolate, some nice bitter chocolate flavor, 
give it a shot. It's pretty nice and it's an organic tea, you know, try some. If you get a chance to have um, a subscription service like Sips Buy, I know there are other subscription services as well for tea. This one I've been having a lot of fun with. I get plenty of tea. I've got a whole bunch left. Matter of fact, when I send out cards to people, I might start adding some of the tea bags that I have not used up yet to them so other people can enjoy some of these teas. It's not that I don't like them. It's that there aren't enough days and enough times to have enough tea, especially the high caffeine ones. Although I have had that late in the afternoon before and uh, no problems at all. Apparently my body consist consistently lives on caffeine. Although I did grow up, and by grow up, I mean late teens, living on Jolt Cola and Viverin. Ah, the 80s. <laughs> Thank you for coming by. Lots of good stuff coming up. I hope you check out the playlists that have been popping up up there. And um, I definitely hope that you come back very, very soon. Have you ever tried Wakana, 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 Wakanda, not Wakanda. Have you ever tried this one? Let me know. Comments below. Tell me what you think of cacao. See y'all very, very soon. Bye now.